everyone, welcome to this week's update from Parkinson's Queensland. This week we held our very first virtual Q&A session with uh, all of you, of course, our members. Professor George Malik joined me here in our office and a number of our other management committee members were sitting at home on their computers joining us for the, our very first virtual Q&A. Thank you to all of the members that participated. We got some great questions and we were able to share uh, our, our new strategic plan 2020 to 2024. We are planning on running a couple of those virtual Q&As uh, a year now, so look out for the next one towards the middle of next year. And we want to give all of you an opportunity to ask us some questions uh, and also to hear directly from our management committee about some of the strategic initiatives that we're driving. Now, if you are a current member of Parkinson's Queensland, but you were unable to join our virtual Q&A earlier this week, you will be able to contact our office and we can send you the link so that you can view the recording. So any current members of Parkinson's Queensland, please just give us a call or send us an email and we'll share the link so that you can go uh, online and have a look at the recording of the Q&A. Uh, now just a reminder of course that Christmas is only three weeks away, I know. it's. It's hard to believe with the year that we've had that we've finally arrived at the end of 2020 and we can all take a, a big sigh of relief. Uh, but Christmas is only three weeks away. So a reminder to please make sure that if you need to see your doctor before Christmas, make your appointments, uh, get all of your scripts, organise your medications before the festive season. Please make sure that you've got everything ready so that you can really enjoy the break. Uh, if you have got any questions or if you're unsure about perhaps anything that you might need to consider, give us a call, that's what we're here for. But um, look, the main things are make sure that you've got your medications in place or your scripts that you might need over the festive season and that you have made the necessary appointments with your medical professionals. Uh, to let you know, of course, uh, also that our office will close at midday on December the 24th and will reopen on Tuesday, January 5. So the team have done a fantastic uh, job this year in very, very difficult circumstances. And as you can imagine, we're all ready for a break with our loved ones as well. So um, uh, please bear that in mind that we will be closed from lunchtime on the 24th until Tuesday, the 5th of January. But of course, you can still access uh, all of our information uh, via our web website, so you can still go online and get information sheets and anything else that you might require. Um, also to remind you that because it's only three weeks till Christmas, you've got a limited time to purchase your Parkinson's Queensland Christmas bauble. I shared with you what it looked like last week. Uh, we have had orders come in via the phone during this week and uh, the baubles have been going out the door. So we only have a limited number. So if you would like one of the exclusive Parkinson's Queensland uh, Christmas tree baubles, uh, please give us a call or send us an email and we will get that out to you and hopefully you'll receive it bef before Christmas so you can hang it on your tree. Uh, finally, of course, this week the Queensland Government released its state budget. Uh, unfortunately for Parkinson's Queensland, we uh, didn't make the cut this time around. We are still determined to continue to advocate the Queensland Government to ensure that they make Parkinson's a priority. It is something that we're going to be very, very focused on in 2021 as we come into the new year. We really want the Parkinson's community to have better access to health services right across the state. We want to be able to improve the services that we provide um, and so we, um, we hope that the Queensland Government will uh, come to the party and sit down with us and discuss how they can assist Parkinson's Queensland to make a difference to the lives of everyone with Parkinson's across the state. Because as we know, those numbers are continuing to rise. That's all from me for this week. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the week. Bye for now.